Today on Project GTI, we're going to do another really simple DIY service job. We're going to change the engine air filter. All you need in the way of tools and equipment is the air filter, obviously, uh, vice grips and a Phillips screwdriver. So on our GTI, it, it's a little bit of a different setup to normal. You'd normally expect to find the air filter in a, in a housing, something that looks a bit like this with a pipe going to it. But the air filter in this car is actually located within the engine cover right at the back. So we need to take all these pipes off first and then we can take the engine cover off and get access to the air filter. So firstly, we take the clamp off the air inlet pipe here. Move that out of the way. Next, remove the uh, connection from the airflow meter. Just carefully pull that back. Put that out of the way. Lastly, just undo these two clamps here. They can just be done by hand. It should just pull out. Then we can remove the engine cover itself. So the engine cover is actually held into place with these rubber grommets that are supposed to be here and, and here on the engine. Now ours is missing a lot and these are all wobbly and out of place. So, um, you know, really we, we should be replacing these. But in the future, we're going to be doing away with all of this and putting in uh, an air induction kit on it. So I'm not too worried about it. But if you're keeping this set up, then you want to get these replaced. So here's our engine cover and you want to be quite careful with it because it contains the airflow meter uh, in the housing as well as the air filter so just be careful with that that you don't damage it it's in two parts and we need to separate the two parts um, it's held together with eight screws around the edge so um, we'll just undo these and take it apart there we go and there's the air filter in the housing so with the two filters side by side, you can, you can see the old one there, it's pretty dirty. And if you look inside as well, and if you want to get a close up on that, there's all kinds of muck and gunk in there. So definitely should get a benefit from replacing it. Just give the inside of the air box a good wipe out, or if you've got compressed air line, just give it a blow out. Um, just be careful again of the airflow meter. Then get your new filter. You need to pop it into this half of the housing first. Make sure that that's seated correctly. And then the two sides hinge together here. Okay, make sure that it's seated nicely all the way around the edge and then you can just start to do the screws back up again. Okay, now we can put the cover back on and we'll try and attach what little of the mountings are, are left. Reattach the inlet pipe here and just make sure that the rubber seal is intact and everything's okay there. So that's it, air filter changed, everything's done back up. We do need to do something about that air, uh, engine cover not being securely fastened because that is going to move around and rattle over time and it can cause you know, uh, weaknesses or stress fractures. So we've got to get that changed and get our air induction kit on there as soon as possible. So that's it, thanks for watching. Uh, next week we're going to tackle the pollen filter, uh, spark plugs and also ignition coils.